Hey everyone, my name is Henrik Hoyer and I'm from the University of Bremen in Germany. And my name is Oscar Alvarado from Kjölöven in Belgium. In this video, we will provide a brief summary of our paper Middle-Aged Video Consumers' Beliefs About Algorithmic Recommendations on YouTube. We present joint work together with Vero van den Abel, Andreas Breiter and Katrin Berbert. This paper presents a socio-technical perspective on YouTube's algorithmic recommendation system and provides actionable insights on how algorithmic recommendation systems can and should be explained. We identified a research gap regarding users' beliefs about video recommendation systems such as YouTube. This is important since YouTube has more than 2 billion monthly users. In addition to that, 70% of the videos watched on YouTube are recommended by their algorithmic curation system. We focused on users with three main characteristics. They only consume videos. They were middle-aged and did not grow up with social media and algorithmic recommendations. And they had high education levels, but no formal training in computer science or related disciplines. In our study, we conducted 18 semi-structured interviews. To maximize diversity, we decided to interview people in three different countries with high levels of YouTube usage. Six users from Germany, six users from Belgium, and six users from Costa Rica. Using thematic analysis, we identified a variety of influence factors that users recognize in the context of video recommendation systems. We organized these influence factors into four user beliefs. The previous actions beliefs refer to the previous actions of the current user that could have an influence on the recommended videos. Users believe that actions like liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, or searching for a video can influence their recommendations. The social media belief refers to the influence that other users could have on the video recommendations. Here, other users of the platform are the actors that influence the recommendations. Some examples of how users believe other users influence video recommendations are actions such as their viewing activity, their likes and dislikes, and commenting on other videos. The recommender system beliefs refer to the influence that the algorithm has on the video recommendations. This user belief relates to how the algorithm computes the similarity between users and the similarity between videos. In addition to that, the influence of context was mentioned. Finally, the company policy belief relates to the actions of the organization that operates the algorithmic curation system. This includes beliefs that some recommendations are paid for, the possible influence of data sharing practices between different companies, as well as psychological experts that are hired to keep users on the platform to increase profit. This is novel because the influence of the company that operates the platform has not been recognized in prior work. This is also noteworthy, as influence factors like paid recommendations and psychological experts are associated with strong negative emotions. Read the paper to learn more about why recommendation systems are complex socio-technical systems that entail a lot more than a specific algorithm. We argue that the most urgent risk is not a lack of awareness, but an insufficient understanding of machine learning-based creation systems. To address these challenges and to design for a better experience, explanations could show whether the algorithm, a user's actions, other users' actions, or the organization that runs the platform are responsible for the recommendations a user receives. Designers could add control features to allow users to review and correct how their watching history influences their personalized recommendations. We invite other researchers to continue studying the user beliefs further for YouTube and other platforms like Twitter or Instagram. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon. Bye.